Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shah and welcome to my YouTube channel Cognitive Coders. So today we'll see some different thing. Okay, uh, we'll not follow based on our playlist and all. Okay, we'll see today our you know, one of the uh, leading companies company uh, interview question. Okay, so this is a CT Group interview question. Okay, so in CT Group interview question, what they have given? Where they have given one data set where uh, employee names are there and jobs are there okay uh, different kinds of jobs and their employees name are there okay and they they ask us to uh, to uh, print the output uh, only based on a, a, a only basis a dictionary uh, where the key value will be a job and where the key will be a job and value will be how many uh, employees are there on that job means that count okay so we'll see we'll see how to implement this thing okay we'll see and uh, uh, notebook i have already used my approach uh, uh, for for implementing this logic okay so you all, you guys, if you guys are thinking we we can solve it in different approach, you you can also uh, think your approach uh, on this uh, video link. Okay. So uh, whatever file they have given us, uh, I, I have already downloaded and and the same file I'm using here. Okay. So you, you can see the, there is name and job here also the same thing name and job okay so uh, this file i have already uploaded uh, uh, here so see this is a csv file so here and um, uh, the can uh, employee names are there and their jobs are there okay so someone is banker someone is designer someone is pilot okay so uh, from here i need to extract I, from here i need to ex, uh, i need to extract the jobs first okay so how many different kinds of jobs are there that i need to first specify based on that i can implement that uh, how many people are uh, there in same jobs okay each and every jobs okay so that, for that reason i have converted into rdd uh, okay when i am converting into rdd you can see uh, each and uh, each and every each and every uh, employee name it is coming uh, as a name and each and every job it is coming in a job okay it's coming in a list so that i can uh, take it in in the iteration it will be helpful for me so now what i am doing i am uh, i'm taking one dictionary so my dictionary layer out so after that i am also taking one list for the iteration purpose okay so uh, first what i am doing then uh, first i am using the for loop on the on the rdd list okay so uh, in rdd list uh, uh, each and each and every job means the first first is first index element means the job okay this is the zero zero index element zero index element and this is the first index element so i'm take, considering the uh, first index element and uh, uh, putting it in in our list if it is not exist uh, okay uh, uh, so uh, after that what i am doing uh, okay so what what i am doing so first all the jobs whatever it is there i'm putting in in a, a in our list okay so after after uh, putting it in a in a list uh, what we are doing once again we are iterating okay once again we are uh, we are iter iterating iterating the job list the li in list we are uh, we are using the for loop so the, uh, from there what we are checking if i not in d if uh, other uh, if and uh, the job is not exist in in the dictionary then uh, 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 we are putting it in the dictionary and counting it as a one 
and else if the job is exist on this dictionary then only what we are doing we are increasing the count by plus one then after that uh, we are printing it so now uh, when we are printing it now it, it is coming as the output answer whatever they uh, they asked us to do you can see job title uh, uh, this something all the um, all things it is written here okay so this this is this was the case for for this uh, question okay so we can also optimize this thing this is the a, a o, o n square solution we can we can see a, a, this uh, uh, okay so we can we can also optim optimize this thing okay we have used in two for loops here uh, so uh, how we can optimize it that that also you can um, you can uh, find and you can use your method and you can also comment on the comment comment box so that i also can uh, get this thing okay i will uh, i will also try to uh, get it and get the optim optimized code to you guys okay so for uh, for now this is and uh, this this was the thing i think you have understood the concept uh, if you if you want to learn the pipework functions and all pipework related functions and all you can um, follow my channel uh, cognitive coder so i have already uploaded uh, this 10 videos on real time scenario basis on pipework and 56 videos on pipework and database functions okay please go and watch this video these are very very much useful videos okay and please support us uh, we, we i'm continuously uploading this videos for you guys these are all free uh, free of cost okay please do subscribe our channel for supporting us and also share this video with your colleagues and friends so that they will get benefit also okay thank you for watching this video bye